Hey guys, one up indie here coming with the newest update, which is this the number two for the for this year. And just before we start with the new shenanigans, which are these two things, or three things, completely not forgettable, but nothing which is just groundbreaking. So once again, um, one thing if you are uh, having your game ready and shipped for Steamworks, they are now removing the internal, once again, the internal inbuilt Steamworks functions. This is not meaning that it's gone and now your games cannot be shipped to Steam. Not the case. It just means that you have to get and set it up through and well, their marketplace. And as you can see, it's free. So basically there has no, nothing changed to it. So basically they just put it as an external thing, as an extension, which you can import for free once again. And then this is how it is. And then they just say like, hey, it's easier to update it because the old thing watch was on a very, very, very old standard. They just want to update it and make it a little bit more accessible. So once again, this is just a thing with, where if you don't, for example, if you, for example, uh, were not using Steamworks, still all the inside things were packaged with in your game, for example, if you were releasing just for mobile on Game Maker Studio, or whatever, or on HTML, then still Steamworks stuff was in there. Now it's gone. Now you have to get it from an external, in quotations, because this is their marketplace, so not really external. So once again, yeah, that's the whole thing. So just bias beware. And the second thing is that if you, for example, because of the new functionality, which I'm going to go over in a few seconds, therefore, if you are on the newest version and you try to open a project which is on the newer version, this is not backwards compatible because that thing seems to be breaking all world records for compatibility and therefore <laughs> it just means uh, you can just read it, but you cannot overwrite it. So therefore everything was backwards compatible because I understand some people with newer updates are always like, eh, sometimes things don't work out and therefore this could go and be a deal breaker for you, but nothing too, uh, let's call it not too bad in my opinion. But here, let's go to the shenanigans, which is the newer stuff, which is for example, text in sequences. Uh, let's see that in action. So let's say for example, you have a sequence and then you could animate stuff, but now you can actually take and something like this. And then for example, you can actually animate text in there, which is pretty cool. So this could be used for uh, text pop-ups. This could be used for like a headline, which is just flashing in or for some cool animations or even for a logo animation. Pretty cool stuff. So once again, a pretty cool feature. And then uh, you can edit that thing if you like. So a pretty good thing. Why not? Of course, I will do a video on that. But Mr. Mataru already uh, did one here. So once again, if you want to see that before, um, pretty cool things which you can do. Nothing too groundbreaking in my opinion. Of course, a pretty neat addition also. Let's go to the next thing, which is video playback. This is of course only for the better. This will come in the future. So um, if you maybe remember good old games like Max Payne and the one is from the same developer, maybe, maybe not, uh, where you will fight off just with a flashlight and then uh, there was some, some demon guys coming at you completely forgot how the game is called. Alan Wake, now I know it, Alan Wake. So this was the game. Then uh, you had some, some TV or whatever, and then you could saw a video which was just playing in there. Interesting concept because uh, this could be useful for some people, not for everybody, but hey, why not? Better to have that than not. And then the next thing is because everybody has uh, the CSS standard color, so that means red, green, and blue. But for some bizarre reasons, because I don't know, this is maybe an English thing, who knows? <laughs> they just say like, let's do it a different way. And therefore we just got BB, GG, and R, which, which is just in another way. Doesn't really matter in my opinion. But of course, this is a more common standard, for example, in most um, editing programs concerning, uh, I don't know, Photoshop or Adobe, they have this kind of standard and therefore 
it's not a bad thing that you can actually uh, use it in that way so what does that mean well for example if you have an object and you want to define for example a color so, uh, and set it to c what was it these are the inbuilt colors so c white c black c yellow whatever doesn't really matter whoa um, then you could for example define a color with a dollar dollar sign and then this would be the the, the hex value so the the old uh, value for for the internal thing but of course uh, you can actually go with a hashtag and then um, do the rgb thing now too so this is just a little um, quality thing which they added nothing too substantial but of course uh, need little extra functionality i don't even know why they never did this uh, i don't know two three years ago but hey now we got it then yeah yeah completely forget that and let's go into once again the interesting parts so once again be aware not backwards compatible so once again if you create a program uh, a project and then for example you want to open it in an, or somebody wants to open your project in the lower version this is not backwards compatible because here uh, the text in sequences is destroying it all and of course here once again if you are shipping to steamworks holy moly um then the world is ending um then <laughs> basically just uh, be aware of that that steamworks is now going over the marketplace so basically this is how it looks like so normally you would go under preferences and then uh, platform settings and then you had steamworks here you would set it up and so on now that goes over the marketplace you just open it up and then boom um just type in steamworks and then boom you can have it as an external extension in there so you just install it if you can you know if you want to use it or not already that was it from my side not the biggest and the greatest update of course uh, some welcome quality changes but if you're unsure skip on this for now of course just skip on this for now if you uh well don't need these features that features so are with the colors and if you're shipping to steam mm, just be aware this could uh, cause you some issues but besides that a pretty solid and good update anyway have a good one one up indie